As the fall semester picks up, Bradley's on-campus arts publication is getting to work. If you are a creative student, you may be interested in Broadside. Broadside is a student-run literary arts journal. Each semester, a collection of works is published and distributed for free to Bradley students. While the English department is its home, the journal features a variety of works of art. Paintings, digital art, photography, um, and then poems and uh, fiction and nonfiction works that are short. Sometimes they're class, they're done for class and sometimes they're just people write them or create them on their own. Previous editions have even published screenplays and sculptures. All submissions are created by Bradley students. Evaluators decide which works will be published in the semester's journal. The process is anonymous and only the editor-in-chief knows who submitted each piece. The editor-in-chief doesn't necessarily read every single submission, um, but the evaluators will read every single piece for their genre, and you can be an evaluator for all three genres, so if you are, then you would look at every single piece that's submitted. Broadside publishes a mini-journal for the fall semester and a larger collection in the spring. While the main focus is to recognize the artistry of the works they publish, they also encourage students to keep working at their skills if their work isn't selected. And we don't just leave them like, oh, you weren't uh, picked for the journal and received no feedback afterwards. Um, we try to push a little bit more to, to give them that feedback so um, they're able to grow and they're able to, you know, uh, better their work. English and creative writing students make up most of the submissions, but Broadside is continuously trying to expand the journal. The cover every semester is chosen from an art submission, usually from a student in the art department. If it's a hobby of theirs to like write creative work or do art, we always accept those, those submissions because we, again, we want to be really diverse in the type of work we accept and the artists that we um, are representing. If you are interested in submitting your work, you can check out their Instagram at Broadside Lit Mag and click the link in their bio. Submissions for the fall publication are available until October 5th, and keep an eye out for a free copy of the completed journal at the end of the semester, available in most campus buildings. For BUTV News, I'm Danny Whiteside.